had the opportunity last night to answer a super important question kids ask me all the time. What should I do about my friends that are not as serious about things as I am? Now, sure, the kid millionaire who asked this was doing so in reference to her business, but the answer still holds true for everything else in her life as well. It's simple. You become who you hang around most. Now, for kids, it's a pretty big wake-up call to realize that most of their so-called friends are in reality dragging them down. And I, as always, don't mean to sound so harsh, but you just can't argue with the truth. Most kids these days are constantly being hammered to be accepting, inclusive, and tolerant no matter what. Now, that's okay and good for social issues because nobody, especially kids, should ever be judged or uncomfortable with what they look like or who they are. Now, what I'm talking about is the completely weak-minded and flat-out wrong perspective of teaching kids to prioritize other people's feelings over their own. It hinders their social interaction because they're afraid of upsetting others. It literally forces them to bear the weight of other people's negative issues and circumstances. And every time they focus their attention to pull ahead, they are, believe it or not, being encouraged to wait for others who have no intention of even walking up to the starting line. But here's what good parents find absolutely fascinating. Kids inherently know this illogical philosophy of equity without effort is completely wrong. Because even at their young age, they have seen with their own eyes that not everyone is willing to do everything it takes to be truly great. And once they come to their own realization of that, no one will ever be able to take it away from them. No amount of societal brainwashing or political indoctrination, no level of narcissistic or entitlement-minded personal connections. Anyone and everyone that enters into your kid's life will automatically be put through a logical and accurate thinking litmus test to see if they are here to help or to hurt. And that is how you protect your kids in the 21st century.